over 40 years. Bahrain will host British Navy vessels, including aircraft carriers and destroyers. And it has led some to accuse London of overlooking the country's poor human rights record to strengthen military ties with the Gulf monarchy. Well, let's now discuss this with Nabil Rajab, a prominent Bahraini activist and opposition leader. Thank you so much, Mr. Rajab, for joining us here on IT International. And why do you think Bahrain was chosen to host an expansion of, I quote, Britain's footprint in the Gulf? If you just follow the past few years since the, the uprising of 2011, maybe Britain were the only country were openly supporting the dictatorship in Bahrain and clearly opposing our struggle for democracy and human rights. And I think this comes, especially knowing that Bahrain going to pay the whole amount or most of the amount that uh, built this going to be built this uh, base. Uh, taken into consideration that uh, the silence of United of UK, Bahrain paying that as an award to them, and for that reason, Bahraini people are upset. Uh, as the information coming out, uh, it's not very much so far. We just came to know about it today, yesterday, and I think you will see a lot of people opposing this base on Bahrain, especially it's coming from a government uh, that is known not a friendly government to our uh, struggle for democracy and human rights and totally against it and totally supporting the repressive regime here in Bahrain. So, in a short uh, words, uh, this uh, base is not welcome in our country. Well, uh, as uh, you just said, Yes, uh, the, the reaction to this naval base is not very positive, to say the least. But then, on the other hand, um, could the UK's military presence in Bahrain actually help draw attention, draw international attention towards the human rights situation there? Well, we have uh, the American base since the past uh, tens of years, and we have not seen that played any positive role in improving the human rights uh, on Bahrain. In reality, they supported the government and they did not support the struggle of the people. Even though sometimes in the United States you realize the State Department want to be in between, but the Pentagon, the military which is based on Bahrain, uh, will go against us and will be with the Bahrain government. And we think the military of UK will take the same stand. And uh, finally, we have to pay the price of their presence here. And unfortunately, I would say this is comes in the blood of our children. We don't welcome this uh, base. And also, we don't want to have a problem with our neighbors. We don't want to have a problem with Iran. We don't want to have a problem with Russia. We don't want to have a problem. We don't have, want to have any military solution for any uh, crisis. We are a peaceful nation. We have he well, been here. Well, Mr. Job, you know, speaking of neighbors in, uh, in the region in general, uh, the situation there is quite tense at the moment, quite volatile, I should say. And the UK justifies its move by pointing to the growing threat from Islamic militants. What are your thoughts on this one? Do you think their presence in the region will, in fact, help security there? Well, we don't think that will uh, help very much the security because they could deal with ISIS from wherever they are. Uh, secondly, it is widely spread here. The existence of I ISIS, it is because of their ignorance for the past many years they have been working. Uh, they were there in our mosque with the presence of the uh, British, with the presence of American. They've been seeing that and they've been ignoring that because of seeing Iran as a threat number one. Now they realize uh, the threat of ISIS. What I'm trying to say, they can deal with it whether they are in Bahrain or whether they are not in Bahrain. They are already attacking them from wherever they are. So we don't want to have any problem with anybody. We are a small nation. We are a peaceful nation. We would like to maintain our peaceful relation with all our neighbors and everywhere. All right. Nabil Rajab, prominent Bahraini activist and opposition leader. Thank you so much for talking to us here in our International.